This video has to do with the verb jugar. It means to play. And I know what you're saying. Oh, oh, Mr. Gardner, I know how this verb works. It's an AR verb. So the endings are going to be O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, and AN. Our regular verb endings. So why do we have to have a special video on this, Mr. Gardner? Uh, because I know, hello, <laughs> that this is going to be uh, Hugo, Hugas, Huga, Hugan, Hugais, in Hugamos. Don't shut the video off yet, because no, that's wrong. Because jugar is a stem changing verb. And a stem changing verb means that the stem itself changes inside the boot. The ending of the verb is the blue part, the AR, which changes to O, AS, A. Amos ice on in the verb. Ar o as a amos ice on. The stem is the part that generally does not change, except in stem changing verbs, it changes just a little bit. The stem is j u g in the verb jugar. The ending is the a r or the o as a amos eis an, which replaces it when you conjugate it. However, in a stem changing verb, the stem also changes a little bit. And it's always the next to the last vowel. Here is the last vowel. We go to the next to the last vowel. In stem changing verbs, that's always the one that changes. And with hugar, the u changes to a U-E. And it doesn't do it in all the forms. It only does those within the boot. And we have talked about the boot before. It is this form of the verb right here. I have always told you, remember when we discuss verbs, if there's any weird things that happen for verbs, it always happens within the boot or outside of the boot. With stem changing verbs, the stem always changes within the boot. And you'll notice the next to the last vowel, which is U, changes to UE inside the boot. But it doesn't on the outside. So we have Yo juego, tu juegas, usted juega, el juega, ella juega, nosotros jugamos, vosotros jugáis, ustedes juegan. Ellos juegan, ellas juegan. That's a lot of playing. If you want to find out more about stem changing verbs, you can look at our standard video that covers almost all stem changing verbs. Hi, here are our sentences. Let's see if you can put in the correct verbs in each of these spaces. Get out your piece of paper and a pencil fill in those spaces and stop the video. Stop the video now and then you can check it in a few minutes. Stop the video now. Well, welcome back. Let's see if you have gotten these right. Let's take the first one. Yo juego al basketball los sábados. I play basketball on Saturdays. Notice it is inside the boot, so we have the UE change in the stem plus the regular O ending. Tu juegas al baseball en el verano. You play baseball in the summer. Again, we have the UE change because it's still within the boot. Usted juega al hockey en el invierno. You play hockey 
in the winter time. Nosotros no jugamos al tenis. Oh look, in this one the stem didn't change. Did you notice? The jugamos form is on the upper right of our chart. You can see it in the star there. It's outside the boot, so it doesn't change. Ellos juegan al fútbol americano con Norwalk. They play American football with Norwalk. Oh yes, I changed the order on you a little bit. This stem does change here. Notice Ellos is on the lower right. So it is within the boot and the stem does change. Vosotros jugáis al fútbol con el Real Madrid. Oh yes. Real Madrid and vosotros are only in Spain. And therefore, it comes from this part right here. It is outside the boot, and therefore the stem does not change in that one. Let's try some more sentences. How did you do on these? Let's take a look at another set. Okay, here they are. Get out your piece of paper. Fill out those little spaces, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Stop the video now. Well, welcome back. Let's see how you did on these. Let's take a look at the first one. Timoteo juega mal. Tim plays badly. Notice it is a UE stem changing. Timoteo is one guy and it comes from the lower left. That's where he is at. Tú y yo jugamos al ajedrez durante la novena hora. You and I play chess during ninth hour. It is jugamos. We start with the yo, which is generally located right here. Oh, oh, and we have another person with us. So we move from the singular side to the plural side. And that's where jugar is at, nosotros. And it is outside the boot, so the stem does not change. It's jugamos. Nore y Miguel juegan a las tres en el pasillo de la escuela. Nora and Michael play tag in the hallway of the school. It is ellos. It's both of them there. Miguel is a boy. He's here. He has another, somebody else with him. We move over to the plural side. It is within the boot, so the stem changes. Juegan. Tú no juegas al voleibol mucho. You don't play volleyball much. It's two. Notice where it is in the middle left, inside the boot, so the stem does change. Leonel Messi y Neymar juegan fútbol con Barça. It's two boys, and that's lower left, that is ellos. Now some of you may say, wait a minute, Mr. Gardner, Barça is in Spain. That is true, but we're talking about two boys. However, if I had changed this to, let's say, Lionel Messi y tú jugáis fútbol con Barça, since Barça is in Spain, uh, <clears throat> that would be, we'd start with the two right here. You've got somebody with you that would move us over here into the middle there. And that would be jugáis. And generally when I have something like that, if it's in Spain, I will generally say, ojo, ojo, ojo. That means I. And we write it like this. Ojo, ojo. That means watch out in Spain. 
I will usually put a little flyer or something on there pointing out to you that it's in Spain. Of course, of any of my uh, any of my um, <clears throat> tests or quizzes, if I have it there, uh, you, a town or something in there, you can always ask me whether the country is in Spain or not, or the town is in Spain, rather. Sorry. Of course, if it were Guillermo Ochoa y tu juegan fútbol con el América, oh, América, everybody knows, is a Mexican team. And since they don't use vosotros anywhere else in the world except for Spain, it will go down here. And of course, you know, if you have any town on any of my tests or any funny teams like this, you can always ask me, hello, Mr. Gardner, uh, where is this team located? Where is this town located? And I'll tell you, if it doesn't say so right next to the quiz itself or the question on the quiz. Okay, so let's go on to our last one. Yo juego videojuegos después de las clases, something I'm sure you never do. I play video games after classes. You'll notice that the yo is on the upper left of our chart inside the boot, and therefore the U changes to the UE. Well, that's all for our verb jugar. I hope you've had a good time and be sure to practice the exercises on uh, the website to practice this verb. And be sure to see our general video on the verb stem changing verbs, all of them. Jugar is only just one. We do have a general ver uh, uh, video that covers all of the stem changing verbs that you might find of interest. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one real soon.